We have with us Mathias Boy again. Yes, he is an Indian badminton doubles coach. As we know, he looks after the men's doubles pair of Satvik Sairaj Rankireti and Chirag Shetty and also other members of the doubles team. Welcome to the show, Mathias. Thank you and what a presentation. I like it. I like the spark. There is a lot of fire. I feel like getting up and running around in my small hotel room right now. Mathias, let's discuss some fun toys today. Which is the last movie you have seen? Yes, it is a cricket movie. Yes, uh, Shab asked me too. I uh, I watched uh, actually on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, well, you know the next question then. How was the acting? Yeah, uh, the acting was uh, was good. I was uh, I was satisfied with uh, Tapsi. I think it's uh, it was a tremendous story. Uh, yeah, and uh, and yeah, I hope that that people will go and watch it. Uh, Mitali's career has been outstanding uh, in India. Like maybe sadly, uh, a little bit too much focus and all is on the male cricket team and and the males, even though that they're doing very well and and uh, and are great athletes and all. Then obviously, uh, like it would be nice to see a little bit more surround uh, support around the women also. Uh, yeah, I th I think it was a, it was a really good movie, uh, and I'm I'm happy that uh, yeah, Mitali got like uh, such a like such a good uh, biopic okay Mathias now in near future can we hope to see the Mathias boy the real story biopic of yours because uh, we read and heard somebody talking about it so what is on uh, what is on and it's going to happen is that I will do a movie it will be a uh, post Bollywood Bonanza where uh, I will uh, kill a lot of villains and uh, yeah, I will uh, set free some actress. So I'll go through like start in North and then just like go on a raid all the way down to South of India, killing all the bad guys and then uh, free a girl. And it will be titled post Bollywood Bonanza. Uh, it will stir a lot of big stars and we're talking the top five in, in both uh, actresses and actors. They will all be there. It will be a uh, block a hit. Uh, Anurag Kashyap is going to direct it and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be something to look forward to. Okay, now let's come back to uh, the badminton. Let's talk about your text message. You were vacationing somewhere and received a message that, hey, will you be a doubles coach for India? So how was the moment, how was the feeling and your reaction? Please share. Um, yeah, well, I, I was I was in contact with Sadvik and Shirak also after after the Olympics. Uh, well, I Shirak is a Mumbai boy, and when I'm in India, I'm in Mumbai, so we keep in keep in touch. Um, I I when I heard that that Tan was coming back to to India as a coach, I thought it was a good suggestion. Uh, I was not the I was not able to dedicate hundred percent of my time to be full time coach out of Hyderabad. Uh, because of my, uh, my my personal life and I wanted to see my family and so on back in Denmark also. So that option was not on the table. I heard that that he applied for the job and I was ha happy for the doubles because he's, he's definitely a good co uh, coach. Uh, he knows uh, the Indian mentality. He's He's been living in Hyderabad and, and all these things. So I was happy hearing that. Uh, that didn't go through. And uh, and then uh, I, I spoke to, to Shirak about this. And yeah, um, it, it was okay for my calendar to to do like a six month contract and yeah here I am uh, I of course have strong ties to uh, to all the players to to Gopi Chan uh, to to Sanjay the new uh, um, uh, general secretary in BAI so I know the routine I know the the system now so uh, yeah it it was good that uh, that everything um, uh, yeah fall in place and and uh, that I could uh, do do uh, another period here with the doubles well said uh, okay uh, Matya Satwik and Chirag, what similarities do they have? Do they complement each other just like you and your partner used to do? I um, I don't know if if I if I see that many similarities. Uh, if if you can compare me and and Chirag. As net court players, uh, Shirak, he is uh, way faster than I was, uh, but uh, maybe tactically I'm a little bit stronger than than he he is. Uh, Sadvik, he uh, he got like more power than Karsten, but Karsten, he uh, he was like hitting with a little bit more angles and maybe a little bit quicker on the feet. So yeah, of course there are some similarities, but. I could actually just I just realize the potential they have, um, and I don't. 
think they know 100% themselves what their potential is. I don't see that there are any doubles out there now that actually have the same amount of tools in the toolbox, if, if you can use that expression. Uh, if they play really well, they're strong. Uh, as I said, Chirac, he got incredible speed, maybe only outpaced by Kevin. Um, and, and Sadvik, he is one of the, one of the biggest smashers on tour. Uh, if they can if they can improve a little bit from the defense and the tactical skill set then uh, then i don't see how uh, how they they can't like take home the really big things as as uh, olympics in uh, in paris in, in in two years time and um, and world championships and, and a lot of the, the tour tour championships so uh, they definitely have the potential okay malaysia canada and uk they are very strong opponents so what do you think? What will be the combination? The combination, uh, will you decide or you already know it? Yeah, if, if, I, if I tell you, I have to kill you. So I uh, oh. prefer not to. So of course, we are keeping these things internally. Uh, I am, I'm trying to share as much as I can with, uh, with right. my players. Uh, eventually, it's my decision. It's, it's my responsibility to, to pair the right uh, combinations, as you say. Um, yeah, so so that is what we're figuring out right now. Um, we have had a little bit of, of injuries back home. Uh, so the focus in the session there is to get everyone ready. Now we're just like fine tuning the, the last details, finding the right combinations in, in especially mixed doubles and, and ladies doubles. So that is what we're working on now. I can't reveal, reveal much. Okay, uh, agreed. You have seen Polela Gobichand as a father, as a coach, a strict administrator though. How do you see his daughter as a player? You have been very close to him since long. Um, yeah, well, I'm 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 really happy to see that that how much Gaia has uh, has improved. Uh, I don't treat her any any differently from all of other my my players. I I push her every day in the sessions. Uh, it is great, but obviously, like it's 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 nice always for a for a family to to see the next generation. I I have the same with in my family my nephew he's just been accepted in the national team in denmark so it's also see nice to see that uh, that it's it's being carried forward and uh, yeah i i i know that that uh, gopi even though that he's not treating his daughter any differently in the session he's pushing her it might maybe even be a little bit harder on her than on the others but i know that of course he's very proud of her and and she is a really good player and and definitely have the talent to uh, to make it uh, along the way so uh, yeah i'm i'm here to push her and uh, yeah she's a, she's a very sweet girl okay coming to my next and the last question your prediction Matthias, of the medal tally which will actually make you and your team happy We we set the bar at uh, at gold in uh, in all uh, all six disciplines, five individual and the team one. Uh, but uh, you know what? I'm I'm not I'm not thinking so much about that. If my players can go out and play close to their absolute best, uh, that is all we can do. If then someone is there and uh, they perform better, then I accept the defeat. Um, so so that is what I'm striving at. But I'm pretty sure. If if my players go out and play close to their best there will be uh, it, it will also result in medals but uh, my focus is trying to do that it's not easy under these circumstances to perform we know that a lot of people is is cheering from back home it's a big responsibility um to to represent india and uh, and all these they, they it, it it plays in the head of of the players also so it's not an easy job so i'm trying to to tell them like we don't look at that we look at trying and, and prepare as best as possible for each and every match and if we can play as close to our best as possible under these circumstances yeah that is all we can control and then it's up to our opponents to uh, to see what they can uh, they can come up with but um, i feel i feel confident but uh, yeah i'm not gonna got gonna promise anything else then we will do our utmost and uh, and fight until there is uh, nothing left in our bodies Wish you luck for the same, Matthias. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure to have an Olympic medalist wearing Indian jersey, eating Indian food and promised to be featuring an Indian film sometime. Thank you so much. Thank you.